This week we're going to the Action Coach event at the Majestic Stadium. Um, these guys, Ian and Paul, are really top of the tree in terms of how they're presenting their business. They use the Action Coach model, which is a very um, large internationally acclaimed um, coaching company and they're transferring that into a brand called the Business Plan Guys and that's going to be focused around business plans and creating business plans for um, small business owners. It was a nice example of how you should put on a 40 person boutique event and pitch event. It's sort of teas and coffees, lovely location, loads of parking and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'm hustling. I rise and grind and so this is this is why I earn the big bucks. <laughs> We've got a client shoot today at the Majesty Stadium. Um, great client, looking forward to that. We'll see more of that in a bit. Um, and I'm speaking, so looking forward to doing that. We're rolling up in the whip. Bus driver. I'm like, go driving in my bus. Do, do, do. I'm definitely lost. Excuse me, where's the big fucking stadium? <laughs> I can't see it. It was held at the Majestic Stadium, which is home of Reading Football Club and also London Irish Rugby Club. It's a really famous, large local venue, so great landmark. People could easily find it and easily park. One of the things that always makes me laugh at events is that even in this day and age, if you put on a free lunch and also great teas and coffees and networking, people come for that and then you put great content and that great content also can surprise and delight people. Think, wow, I only turned up for the networking but the content was great and then the offer that you put at the end seemed really phenomenal so I signed up for it. Apart from money I spent on marketing, is wasted, the trouble is I don't know what half. So they invited me in to do 30 minutes about lead generation. I'm obviously well um, known in the local area for having marketing and, and doing lead generation. And so that was quite a nice way of them using my brand, if you like, as well as the subject matter to elevate their pitch at the end, but also to elevate the pre-event marketing to say, you know, Richard was there and of course they used the whole, you know, former apprentice candidate and all that sort of stuff, which I completely think is the right thing to do because it does help sell tickets. You know, it's a free event, but you still got to get people there. So that was a great tactic. So with the networking and the content of the conference, plus the pitch at the end, this was a successful event for Ian and Paul, and they used uh, some clever tools like Eventbrite to get people booked on and to manage the event. They leveraged the stadium, they leveraged my brand, and all of those things created a well attended and well executed event, and I tip my hat to them. Stick it in your locker, try it out, 40 people in a room, pitch at the end, you never know, you might just nail a load of sales.